thank you so much. I do find myself on stage once again with G2, this time with Broken Blade, Yike and Mickey, and of course, whole map behind them. I hope that Lore will grab Hansama later as well, because we don't want to leave anyone out in this victory. Uh, gentlemen, congratulations, another W. Broken Blade, the first thing that you said was, this one was kind of different. Do you want to elaborate? Yeah, I mean, uh, we lane swapped every single game. So that was, that was a different part. I feel like I was uh, teleported back like, 10 years ago, you know, where, where it was a thing every game. Um, it definitely feels weird to win it this way. <laughs> I do think we played it better. That's why we won. Uh, I, I'm sure my teammates will also elaborate on that uh, at some point during this interview. Uh, maybe right now. That was a great setup, but they didn't bite. Mickey, elaborate. Uh, what about the lane swaps? I mean, I guess the two games we just did, like, well, not really lane swap, but we just like went four bot and just like kind of lanes together. So yeah, it was interesting. It was definitely a different way to win the split. So I can agree it felt weird, but I also felt weirder because we were just like throwing so much. So it was a little bit like embarrassing to actually play the game. Uh, even though we were like so far ahead in most of the cases, like from the lane swap advantages, I think we kind of won the rock, paper, scissors a lot of the times where there's like blind swap top and we stayed bot and all that. So yeah, what are we doing here? What do you think? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm just uh, the younger. I don't know if I can do much with the top and bot stuff. Uh, I always try to just follow their calls, because it's usually Hans or BB calling where to go, where I should go, and I just do my camps, and then I just run there. I see. Easy. Um, I do owe you an apology. Your Rek'Sai was actually good. Um, Thank you. Uh, but generally, how did you feel about the picks for you during this series and the fact that you obviously saw that in one of the games, in the lane sub scenario, you probably feel a little bit useless as that Rek'Sai and in terms of the lessons you learned? Yeah, I think a lot in these lane swap games, I kind of have to just cover in case they TP. And when they TP, we dive. And I think we did it, I don't know if it was this game or the game before, but that's the time where I actually dove them and we got ahead. But sometimes if they don't TP, I will just sit behind bot and I will just wait and no one is coming and then I don't farm. And that's like the disadvantage for me. Okay. What are your general expectations in terms of uh, the lane swaps going into the international stage? I know there is, you know, there's time now, right? You're probably going to bootcamp for it as well. You know, we saw it also uh, over from NIP, Broken Blade. So what do you think? And would you like it to become the norm going into MSI or rather not? I mean, I wouldn't like it. My, my KDA is suffering. <laughs> yeah. uh, I was dying a lot today. Uh, but we are winning those games. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, it's always going to be a new patch. There's going to be a new patch dropping. Yeah. Um, if that's the best stretch for us to win, then uh, we're going to do it, right? Uh, it's just as simple as that. Uh, little thing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? But, uh, yeah. Uh, I also think, like, for example, the TF and stuff, we, we were going to play normal. But then they, they, they lane stopped on us. So I also think we need to be ready for that. Um, one second. Someone telling you something? Uh, no, it's like. Ah, OK. OK. Um, well, you let me finish. Go. <laughs> Um, then, like, I think that, that we can also play the normal game. But when enemies like swap on us, we also need to react to that, as we did very well. Uh, I'm very proud of my teammates for reacting very well, uh, especially our jungler, who has to follow the calls of our top and AD carry, apparently. So. Apparently, yeah. Apparently, I, th I think that's fair enough. I'm just going to check if the Hansama interview is ready yet, yeah? because I see Lore giving me the thumbs up, so I'm going to ignore my producer's call and uh, kick it over to Lore and Hansama. It's fine. We got this. And of course, we had to talk to the double pentacular of these finals. Hansama, thank you so much. What is this finals about for you? Because you had a couple titles so far, so not your first rodeo. How is this one special? Uh, this one is special because that's the spring spiel we lost uh, last year. And, uh, doing, uh, doing a win for the spring spring going to MSI is uh, what really uh, mattered for us and for me. Uh, so we're really happy that we got the win uh, and back-to-back uh, -back, uh, yeah. champions to go MSI. What is about Hansama getting pentakills in finals? Because it's not the first time as well. I believe you had one in Montpellier last year as well when you got the title. Two today. Is it something that your help, team helps you building? Or tell me about this energy that you get on final that pushes you to get these kills? Um, well, I got the pentakill today, but it was maybe like just... Uh, uh, well, it, just, it was a really easy pentakill. All right. <laughs> uh, well, uh, Caps got a pentakill as well, and uh, I feel like there's so much pentakill going on in this meta. Like, it happened yesterday, and it's like almost every single yeah. series, I feel like. So, yeah, it's pentameter. Do you think it says something about the state of the game, or is it unrelated? 
Because it's not strictly bot lane, we saw some pentakills on mid lane as well. Or maybe the carry uh, on the mid and the bottom lane are just very strong. Uh, mm -hmm. It's been like that since the beginning of the uh, year, uh, since uh, Smolder was there, was there basically. Don't <laughs> then you see some Smolder. Jinx yeah. and then <laughs> Pentas everywhere. Well, there was a bit of Zeri. Uh, yeah. Few, yeah. All right. Focusing on what's next. MSI on the line yet again. How are you going to prep for this one? How much time do you have actually before you have to? Um, I'm not sure, but I think we just go to, yeah. uh, we will go like in a week or two. I don't think we will have so much time, but I think we will have enough time to prepare. Perfect. That's what Europe wants to hear. Uh, what's your resolution, Hansama, for this MSI? What do you want to prove for yourself and for the rest of Europe? We trust you, by the way. Well, uh, we definitely want to uh, beat the Asian teams uh, in the MSI and uh, really do something different that, uh, that, than we did uh, last year. I mean, there is an international revenge to take. Let's see what the rest of the team has to say. Felicitations. Thank you so much for the interview merci. once again. And Shox, over to you. Thank you so much. Merci beaucoup, vous deux. Lovely. Uh, so we will talk a little bit more about MSI, exactly that. However, um, wait, can you say that again? So I need to kick someone off. Um, M Mickey, could you step off? Because Caps is our finals MVP and I only have three chairs. <laughs> no way. No way. <laughs> My apologies. Uh, Caps, congratulations. Thank you. Now you have to do two interviews, huh? True. Yeah, I don't really know <laughs> since... Uh, <laughs> Since Laura was already able to ask you a lot of questions about how you feel about your personal development, let me put it in the context of you with the team. Because you having a fantastic split um, means that the rest of the team levels up as well, but I feel like the individuals did as well. So is there anything you want to say about how you feel you have progressed as a full team this split and this year so far? Uh, I mean, I definitely think we have improved a lot. And I think we have been like very honest with each other uh, about pushing each other to, to making more adventures together, basically. Uh, so we're playing like less on our own. Um, and I think, I think that's like, I mean, that's just the main reason why I think I'm doing better because we're, we're working together as a, as a unit. Um, I also think, I'm so surprised I won today, to be honest. <laughs> so I think the Mavens are a bit biased, some, some fans, because I think, uh, yeah, I think everyone had a, a really insane series. Uh, I think, again, a huge shout out to Yike for second game. I think that one was looking a bit rough, but the volleyball was popping up, so yeah. Oh, so you think Thank Yike should have won it, or who who do you think should have won it? Um, I mean, I think I think Mickey should have won it. Let's talk a little bit about MSI. I know the trophy must be heavy. Um, Yike, going into MSI, going into that tournament for the second time for you, and I'm sure that you had a couple of things you regretted from last time around. So what is the main focus, and where do you think you as a jungler, but also you in playing with your team, have improved the most, and what you have to look out for at MSI? Yeah, I think compared to last MSI, I came in very, very hype, very a bit cocky almost, oh. and really wanted to beat all the Asian teams. And then they kind of just match us. And it was a bit embarrassing for us. And I felt very bad. Same happened in Worlds. So I think going into this international tournament, I really want to make us just play better, do better. I think we have to just try out. Uh, of course, the million dollar question is not if you will be able to beat the LCK or the LPL. I mean, I guess we'll see. But please, for the love of everything that's holy, do you think you'll be able to beat NA um, at MSI this year? Yes, I do think we will beat NA. I think there should be no way we lose to them. <laughs> do you agree, Caps? I, I actually think it might be tough, tough for us to, to beat NA, um, but that's more so just because I don't think they'll be in the winner's bracket. Uh -uh. <laughs> so. Good one. <laughs> I love how you stay cocky, uh, even though you know we're still we're still embarrassed from worlds. Broken Blade, some final questions. <laughs>
to you. Um, I think a big focus is on top lane. We've talked about it so many times, and even the last time that we spoke in PGL, we said we're going to talk if you win. Um, in terms of the work you have done also with your personal top lane trainer, etc., and the versatility that you have shown, the way you have approached the lane swaps, being in losing positions, but still being able to influence the map, what is your general feeling about how you will weigh up against the international competition this time around? Um, I, have a, I have a very good and strong feeling about uh, MSI. I, I feel like I have elevated my not only my, my game, but also the way I practice. And obviously, when we are on MSI, it's it's all about playing against the best of the best, right? Mm -hmm. And that gives me the best practice. So if I can use it well, I'll be able to match it or even do better. So that's what I'm looking for. I have uh, very great stuff. Obviously, I had a, a lot of help with these two splits. And there they are. Right on and cue. <laughs> for me, I have learned uh, a lot for personal growth and also how I use practice and like just, just the way um, I take my scrims um, in like a... I don't want to leak what I do because I think others can copy it, but I have, I have a good plan going into MSI, so I hope I can show it. That's all I can say. Uh, obviously, uh, I'm going to have to show it first, uh, which I will. Very confident. Right, guys? Yeah. 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 We're so yeah. confident. Let's go. Uh, Yike, do you want to thank the G2 fans and the faithful? I also know that some of your family's here, so if you want to say anything to them, go ahead. Yeah, um, I mean, first of all, I'm very thankful for the G2 fans, always cheering for us, always cheering for me. I always get very supportive and kind messages like all the time from all my fans, so I really appreciate it. It makes me smile like every day. And then yeah, today I have my mom and dad and my girlfriend and her sister cheering for me. So I'm very, very grateful they came here today and shared for me. And yeah, I love you all. Thank you. Okay. Uh, on that note, before we sign off, uh, Laure Romain. Um, would you mind taking a photo? We've started a tradition where we take a picture with uh, Yike and the shield. Yeah. So we thought this time we'd do it not at an after party, but actually at the studio. Um, I need a chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just taking over, sorry. Why do I need both the shields? I think you need the shield and you need the photo. I hold both of them. And then... I'll hold the, I'll hold the mic, you can grab the photo. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that works. Yeah? <laughs> Lovely. Uh, with that, thank you everyone for another amazing split in the LEC. Congratulations to G2 for the victory. And of course, it's G2 and Fnatic that will re rep represent our region at MSI 2024 in Chengdu, China, starting on May 1st with the playing stage. You can catch the draw show on April 20th after the LPL Spring Finals. Let's give it up one more time for our spring champions, G2 Esports. Thank you. Them. Okay. You have them. You have running, humanoid running. Already used the flight, the flash oh. from Mickey. They just trying to kick the fight off. John looking for the disengage ultimate caps on the backside though, pushes back too with the skies to send Fnatic desperately holding on it. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I go on Jinx. Jinx is Jinx is Extra healing coming in from the frenzy ball. Another 900 HP, baby! Ball up Going crazy in the 2v1! Stretching strikes, not sure if it's gonna hit. Don't know if it'll matter. Broke Mickey's blade mids. also does more damage. Nice scoop back. Mickey goals and men to the waiting arms of Yike. Caps grabbing that kill. I'm dead, okay? I'm hitting it. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. 
It's all Oscar. He's finding advantage. He's gonna find another one. No passive for Broken Blade. Very fucking good, Oscar. They're gonna take their time deciding who they want to donate this to. It will be Han Sama, but Noah. I mean, they focus. Shut down. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, it's okay. I'm done. I'm dead. I'm dead. Nice. 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 And for the fourth time in the organization's history, they're gonna get four titles back to back to back to back. They will secure first seed in MSI and they will lift the Spring Split Shield.